What's up, y'all? It's your boy Sensei. You now back with another episode of Common Sense Reactions. This is what I get for trying to talk fast, like Rich Trapper. I'm out here looking like Flacco. <laughs> Anyhow, um, we about to get into this FBG butter breakdown. On no jumper, man. FBG butter is funny as hell. And like, I guess maybe street niggas don't like him, but if you're a regular person, it's hard not to like him. Bro's funny, he's relaxed, he tells the best stories, you know what I'm saying? So I fuck with Butter, man. So let's see what Butter talk about today. All right, so look, how long after, uh, I guess, the shootout occurred that y'all, you got arrested type shit? Like, you got booked? I got booked right on the scene. Oh, on the scene? Yeah. Oh, All right. J. Creep was right here. Yeah, I just told you we was yeah. across the street from right, man. Sure. Bottles, bro. So we trying to put the pipes up. All these on this bitch, the, the man, the man, mama, right here in the window, watching her son get shot down to the ground. She one of the, she one of the witnesses on the case, another nigga in the Chrysler. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna disclose his name. Oh, um, bro, he an old, he an old guy. Right now, he probably like, maybe it's mid-50s, oh, bro. Like, but, and it's like two more other ladies and a dude, but they all older though right now. And I know they probably looking like, damn, I remember pointing this little boy out. Sorry, my daughter walked in here. It's constant, like, distractions, but we gonna get back to it. In a lot of, but look at me now, mama. You feel me? Look at me now, though. On two, they pointed me out on some fuck shit, but now I've been fixing my life on folks grade. Unfortunately, it took me into some shit that I don't understand and see that life is better than what I was, what, what I was seeing in a... Elevate. Yeah, elevation, definitely one of the words, but yeah, though, man. That Butter be high as a motherfucker, bro. I'm I'm sure Butter right now is off of about 13 perks. You feel me? And that's why he talked the way he talked. But, um, yo, I'm happy Butter got his life together, brother. Like, I, I, I don't care, bro. I'm always happy for it. Niggas that decide to live, get up out the streets. It is what it is, man. Like, you know, the streets, they're never going to respect it because streets are like, like, <laughs> ride or die type of shit. But, you know, I feel like as regular niggas, we should respect it. A lot of you YouTube people be on here talking about what butter should and shouldn't do. And you never spend a day in the streets. Shut the fuck up. What's some fuck shit going on that day? Mook shouldn't have lied for him. Because if he wouldn't have lied, we all would have been free. And blood, I'd be my boy blood, blood would have been dead, gang. Gotta oh, watch this with Luke, guys. So, uh, where did the intimidating the witness come in at? If y'all all got bumped the same day? We all got bumped the same day, but when Lil J Mama dropped that shit, she dropped, she dropped everything with, with the case with Mook and a dying declaration. Like they said, like the victim, dying declaration, they put everybody on the crime scene, including. A dead victim. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Which is make it which, which so they're make saying it murder. They're saying the intimidation of the witness happened that same day? No, it happened. it happened it happened when she is trying to expose me, she dropped paperwork on the victim too. Boom. Oh, but I'm motherfucker sure. only paid attention to me more because it's me. Mm. Mm. You gotta think about it. A lot of motherfuckers know who I am, gang. On two before the internet shit, like I I played the streets for I'm just now realizing how many DJU clips are about this exact situation. Um, too, for like... Goddamn. This whole story has been broken down in crazy depth. That's insane. I didn't even realize. And everyone's still confused about it, because, like, even on the last phone call, y'all still never got nowhere, because he's saying one thing and, and you saying one thing. And then we went down to he found it. Like, yeah, you know, the lawyer threw my mom under the bus. He's like, bitch, but... I had to find, he like, then I go and they got the other lawyer, he like, that lawyer finessing me, and I had to defend myself, like, I wasn't broke, bitch. My mama went there with one in jail, because the lawyer threw my mama under the bus. He's like. I don't know what he's saying, brother. If y'all know, if y'all know what he's saying, please, please translate. I usually understand, but he must be on a sick one today, boy. This shit crazy. And I'm like, bitch, and I was, I'm like, nigga, I was still riding with you. I'm like, bitch, I got my job broke for you, bitch, right after that. Still in Otuka, got my job broke right after that shit. Yeah. But you got, you got, you got through under the bus for being 
phone. And I still ain't say you was a even though the world was saying you was a motherfuckers on the phone. Like, man, it's a, it's a picture out here with him and the, with these bro. Mm. So do you, in your heart, you truly believe that he just threw you underneath the bus to take the heat off him? Yeah, but you know what? That's some diabolical That's shit. what I'm saying. That shit, Asinine. if y'all was really locked in and how on the phone, because on the phone, y'all both keep saying y'all love each other and shit. So it just so sounds I said, crazy. I, I, I said, I fuck with you, bro. I, like, my, my, my Nah, 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 nah. You didn't say you fuck with him. You say, I love you, bro. I love you. I love you, bitch. I love you, gang. <laughs> it sounded like two. I ain't gonna lie, but it sounded like two ex-lovers that were making up, bro. I, I ain't gonna hold you, fam. I ain't gonna hold you. But I respect that you didn't let the camera or nothing... Um, make you shy away from being true to your feelings you feel me if that's how you feel that's how you feel you know what i'm saying i'm saying with the accusations that are going on with will j is it just it just sound a little crazy but you know that's your brother that's your brother you know what i'm saying yeah my, like i want to kill him yeah feel me I want one to see him. But I, I think you said that you still love him. Yeah, folks, you definitely. You definitely said that. Yeah, I was, I was yeah. half. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, sitting next to him, say, yeah, folks, you definitely did say that. Yeah, folks, folks, you said that. <laughs> and see now you trying to get away from it. Makes it even more so fact because it's like you should have just been like, yeah, no, that's like that's my brother, bro. That's somebody who I used to ride with every day, like. Obviously, I'm going to still have love for them no matter what the situation is. I might not be able to fuck with them the same way. I might have to give them a little bit of distance. But, you know what I mean? It's still going to be love there. But you trying to be like, nah, what I said was, all right, buddy. <laughs> but you got to stop lying in these interviews, brother. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying though, so it's like, nice love. Love. I don't fake no love. I don't fake no love. But it's like, you do man, I ain't, I ain't on that, bro. Oh, folks, great. Like, you keep trying to tarnish me. Like, I told him, I say, for you here, what you here going on, dude, you trying to tarnish me, fo. If somebody would really lie on you and say one of the worst things that you could say about a person coming from where you're from. I'm confused. Brother said, uh, I, I, I ain't in no fake love, but. I ain't on that. So you told the nigga that you love him. You're saying you're not on that though. And, but you you don't get fake love. But it talk, be talking in circles, brother. That's, he's an entertaining guy. <laughs> entertaining, but like, brother, you cannot rely on anything but he tells you, bro. He might tell you a whole different story next week. And in order to take the heat off of him, for something that he actually almost 100% seems like he has done. <laughs> that is some shit where, for sure, if I believed that he actually was intentionally doing that, I would never fuck with him again. That's some of the most evil, fucking insane, conniving shit I ever heard of. He doesn't love you, gang. Yeah, that, yeah that's a person you gotta just no. put them on the yeah, psychopath. I, I want me. nothing to do with. I know you don't love like it's like, but it's you like can't, you can't I see where you him. I see where you going with this shit. That's why, like, I don't you you don't see. I stop bashing him. I stop bashing him way before the phone conversation, bro. Mm. Cause I hate to really look at myself like I'm not him. Mm -hmm. I never be you, gang. Be better. I'm greater always. I'm took everything yeah. I do is is gonna be bigger. All right. One last question about that. So he one thing he was saying. He said that you never copped out that you signed a plea agreement. Man, I copped out for AF fifty, man. Yeah. On fourth grade, when you cop out, it's a fucking plea agreement. <laughs> Do we not know the fucking law? That that, that really don't slow? make sense. Man, when you cop out, it's a plea. Are we stupid? <laughs> nah, I ain't saying you. Nah, I'm just, I'm just, oh, are we now. stupid as fuck, right, bro? Yeah. We don't know the law, nah. Nah, that's a lot of motherfuckers who, yeah, you a real street nigga, but you ain't never been to jail. Ah, oh, they goofy ass niggas. When you cop out a cop out to some time, you are copping out to a plea agreement. I am pleading to cop out to the, the time you're giving me. I, I, I got a piss on beer back. Yeah. No. You know? Yeah. 
Man, my fuckers. Nothing wrong with it, uh, nothing wrong with pleading out unless, um, in that plea agreement, you gotta attest to somebody else's guilt. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, in real life, you gotta understand what motherfuckers will look for anything to bash. Sidewalk take. Sidewalk take. Once again, I'm just on the sidelines, you know, looking at this shit like a movie, commenting on it. I have no validity to say anything about what snitching is, what it isn't. Motherfucker dope, bro. Yeah. Because motherfuckers feel like, damn, if I ride your fan way, your, your way, motherfuckers gonna fuck with me anyway. Mama get the likes anyway, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's a joke. You you don't fuck with me either. Mm -hmm. I don't move like that on the I be seeing niggas that sh th throw shade on my name, bro. Do I do the same? No, bro. I put a lot of niggas in play, don't I? Let's, uh, let, let's, let's, let's chill, brother. Because you actually, most of the time you keep it solid, but, like, if, when niggas keep on talking about you, like, like, young in them, you will tweak and start saying disrespectful stuff, bro. I think you tweaked on Duck's mama and shit. And Duck not even here. She ain't got no kids left to protect her or stand up for her. So you definitely do be responding, bro. And tweaking sometimes. You know what I mean? And you're human, so that's fine. Like, you know? If you feel insulted, sometimes we do the wrong thing and we react the wrong way. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You'll fuck around the troll with their ass back. A lot of motherfuckers just be trolling just to get that little clout. Yeah. That's a way of showing love. I like this guy, bro. Because he's holding, um, he holding Butter's feet to the flame, bro. He not letting them, he not letting them, uh, cap or, you know what I mean? Act like things happened that didn't happen or act like things didn't happen that did happen. He holding his feet to the fire. That's a real homie, though. I'm gonna make sure you keep it on 100. It's like, okay, well, you wanna troll with me? I'm gonna troll with you back, but I know when it's. Nah, you know, I don't troll, though, fo. I don't troll, fo. I don't troll the guy. Hell nah, boy. If anything, if we gonna get any type of attention, we gonna do this shit together because motherfucker got to think about it. Like, when I do shit together with the guys, for it's always bigger mm -hmm. yeah. than what the dead do troll. Because young wave ain't as big as my wave. Mm. Right? You know, I, I, me and you had a conversation. But I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about you being the biggest one, brother. I think, uh, I think, uh, you know what I mean? I think J-Main got you beat. Um, as far as that goes, also, uh, Anyhow, let me just leave that alone for right now. <laughs> He's, He's out. got all this shit going on right now. For he a rapper. I, 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 I saw for sure. Oh, too, great, nigga. We we both did performances in Ohio, right? We both put some shit together for Ohio. Well, y'all going crazy on a rapper shit right now. Right, we, both, we both put some shit together. We both put them promote. We both promoted, a, yeah. you know, something for Ohio, right? My pool bash, my pool party sold out more than... Right. So it's like, what are we doing, gang? And then y'all only got booked in Ohio because I was already promoting this. Mm. How did you feel when Lil J told you that uh, when he ran out of money in jail, he tried to kill himself and shit? Man, we both was in that bitch trying to kill, kill ourselves. Um, bro, I'm a psych patient. I'm away from all my kids. I'm going through some shit. They getting this bitch steady trying to put murders on me every other week. I'm in this bitch steady getting caught with shanks. I'm just be smoking, you know, chilling, killing, like a real villain. What got you through it, though? Man, I just, nah, seriously, though. Also serious shit, though. No, seriously, though, like, I had to understand, like, it was, it was light to it, um, bro, because I was my lawyer. Not only was she my lawyer, but she was also a, a friend of the family, like, you know. It's my little brother, mama, this trigger mama, you know. Yeah. Family. So it's like, we got her, she fighting, she, like, not only she fighting, but 
I had to learn how to read all type of shit in jail, like to understand the law. So I had to all understand the law. And I'm looking shit up, and now I'm. So I'm here to check out Keith. He's interested in. You're not gonna get me with these ads, bro. I'm tired of this. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, and now they all of a sudden want to start giving me ads. Fuck that. I'm looking up laws and she's like, damn, you sent this? You, she, I ain't never sent this. Now she looking into it, and she didn't look into that and understood it that it made this make sense because now she studying this too. Mm -hmm. And it's making sense now. So she was um, uh, not making sense to me. I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> it says giving you hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family, my kids. I still want to come on to my kids. My mama, my mama love me, boy. Um, bro, every day my little sister, I'm on the phone my little sister, my brother, and I'm, my homies, my big mama, and I'm like, my big mama, they live in their life. I ain't hating on their life, like, cause I'm, you know, I was just living my shit when I just out there on first grade, so I was never want to make me tripping on that shit. But, uh, like, just being able to be in contact with my people like that shit made me get through my time. And I masturbated a lot for the homo. No happen. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Yo, how are you going to say that in the same breath as all that serious, super, super... Thoughtful, humble ass shit. All of a sudden, you gonna say, "Yeah, you know," and I just pray to God, and you know, kept the faith. You know, my baby mama kept me strong, and I, I masturbated a lot for. You know, I, I drank my meat hella, hella much, bro. I was in there, but stroking it, you <laughs> like butter, butter, bro. You're doing it to yourself at this point. A, getting. Yo, brother, what are you doing, man? We got one more minute. But it better say something impactful. No, I don't care. Hey, I don't know if homie's a homie or if he's like a, a low-key hater, bro. <laughs> but <laughs> so far, I ain't seen him cross over the line into like low-key hating on the, on the bro, but... You know what I mean? I feel like <laughs> he definitely keep it real. Every time Butter say something insane, he let him know, bro, you out of pocket, fam. Just chill. Oh, my God. While we here, y'all, man, make sure y'all go subscribe to Butter, man. Man, make sure y'all like story time on 63rd, bro. Nah, man, look, I, just, I dropped a book, bro, for real, bro. Lock in. I'm gonna see y'all my shit, bro. Y'all subscribe. You gotta got promote man. that better. I ain't know who's out, man. So, I'm gonna, who don't got the book? I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it. I got, I'm gonna get it myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? How the so, fuck? I'm, what? I'm what? what? You just say you gonna get it yourself, gang? Yeah, man. I only, I only got, How you don't got your own copy? I only got copy? the digital copy. Oh, no. You gotta get your own copy. So, y'all find the physicals out and shit. Yeah, yeah now nah, they out on Twitter. Oh, Amazon promoting on Kyra. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's already it's getting published through Amazon already. Like, it's been out for like maybe like two weeks now. I had no clue, bro, had a book, man. Y'all go get Butter's book, man. Support that dude. Put some money in his pocket. Keep him out the streets with the switchies and all that. Feel me? Anyhow, that's it for today. Um,. Well, not for today, but I mean for right now. And uh, I want to find something else to fucking react to, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Sense, Common Sense Reactions. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you with the content. I'm out.